Five mistakes new print-on-demand store owners must avoid. Are you making these five critical print-on-demand mistakes that could be silently killing your storefront? Hi there, I'm Tammy with ShineOn, the app that's changing the game for anyone who wants freedom and flexibility in their lives without having to give up their ethics for income. Our app allows anyone to create a print-on-demand digital storefront, selling products that they can be proud of without having to keep inventory or manage fulfillment. Most of our merchants start their ShineOn storefronts with little to no experience in the print-on-demand and e-commerce world. That's why we put so much of our attention into educating our Shine-On merchants on how to be successful as an e-commerce entrepreneur. One of the ways we do that is by helping you avoid many of the common mistakes we see print-on-demand store owners make. Today, I will be sharing with you five critical mistakes that will slow down your sales or worse, cause a store to fail. Let's go! Mistake number one, choosing a niche randomly. When starting a print-on-demand Demand store, you might be thinking that you could sell just any products that you like. For example, you could sell sports gear alongside gratitude journals because you're a baseball fan who likes writing down what you're grateful for each morning. Unfortunately, that's not going to lead to a successful storefront. Instead, you want to research and carefully choose a niche before you ever get started. And you want to only choose to sell products that are in alignment with your niche. For example, many of our merchants have positioned themselves as go-to storefronts for personalized special occasion gifts. A popular product that they sell are our baby feet pendants with birthstones because it's a perfect gift for new parents. Mistake number two, failing to respond to customer inquiries. We all know how stressful it can be when you see a new message from a customer or a potential customer come into your inbox. And whether it's good or bad, you need to respond to every single message that you receive. It's just another thing to do. But poor customer service will lose you customers no matter what. So make sure Sure you're available to your customers via live chat, email, or a customer service bot. Mistake number three, ignoring analytics. Analytics are your guiding light in the world of online business and digital entrepreneurship. Not only do your analytics tell the story of your store's success, for instance, what products are popular with your customers and what products are not, but they also tell the story of your marketing success. Properly leveraging analytics means you are tracking views, conversions, and customer lifetime value. These metrics will inform decisions about your product choices as well as your marketing efforts. For example, if you notice that only 2% of your customers are repeat buyers, that gives you some great insight into how you need to shift your long-term marketing in order to incentivize other buyers to purchase again. This can include discounts for repeat purchases, ongoing email marketing, and special sales specifically for previous customers. Mistake number four, assuming your print-on-demand store is set it and forget it. Here at ShineOn, we highly encourage our merchants to not only participate in further learning that we provide inside of our app, but to continue to tweak, optimize, and change their storefront as they gain more knowledge and experience. You cannot set up a print-on-demand storefront one time and assume that it will be good to go for life. That has got business failure written all over it. There are ongoing needs that you need to attend to, including marketing, driving store visitors, customer service, and back-end conversion changes. Too many business owners fall into the thinking trap, meaning you constantly think about new innovations that you could be making to your store without ever actually implementing those changes. That's one big mistake. Don't do it. And lastly, mistake number five, spending big on ads without understanding the data. Ads and paid marketing are a fantastic way to grow your shine on storefront, as long as you understand how to analyze and leverage the data that you collect. Throwing more money at ads that aren't converting won't do you any favors. In fact, it's one of the biggest reasons why stores shut down. Instead, test a wider variety of ads with smaller budgets, and then gradually increase the ad spend on the ads that are converting to sales. Those are the five biggest mistakes we've seen new merchants make when they first start their Shine On storefront. The great thing is that now you know what those mistakes are and how to avoid them. All that's left for you to do is to start a Shine On storefront. Make sure that you click on the link in the description box and follow the instructions to create your Shine On account. It's free to become a Shine On merchant and it will only take about 10 minutes to sign up. This could provide you with a flexible income that could change your life. We'll see you there.